The Sheep Wars, also known as the Sheep and Cattle War, was a series of armed conflicts fought throughout the western United States during the late 1800s. The two parties involved in the conflict were the sheep herders and cattle ranchers fighting over grazing rights. While not an officially recognized war, the conflict lasted over 50 years from about 1870 to 1920, including 120 engagements over eight different states and claimed the lives of over 100,000 sheep and 54 men. The war began when the cattle ranchers felt their livelihood was being threatened by the invasion of flocks of sheep into public grazing lands. The sheep had a tendency to overgraze the land, causing it to be unusable for months. There was also a fear of sheep scab, a form of mange that infected the sheep, which could also pollute the water sources that were used for cattle. This destruction of the prized grazing lands angered many cattle ranchers and soon conflicts arose. One of the first real conflicts began in Texas in 1870. Cattle ranching was a well-established industry at the time when the popularity of sheep herding began to grow. Even though tensions were high, the battles fought in Texas were mostly legal. The cattle ranchers with the law on their side began to enact restrictions and tough laws against the sheep herders. One of these laws was an attempt to stop the spread of sheep scab. The law required the sheep herders to have their flocks inspected by a certified inspector from the state and if any of the sheep were found to have the scab, the entire flock was quarantined. This law then transformed into requiring the shepherds to obtain a certificate from the state stating their sheep were free from the mange. These laws drove the sheep herders underground in an attempt to avoid the law. Barbed wire was a newly used practice to protect the grazing land from the sheep. Whether the land was public or private, barbed wire began popping up everywhere. This contributed to another war of the West called the Fence Cutting War. With the law on the side of the cattle ranchers, it soon became a felony to cut any barbed wire fencing. The few casualties of the sheep war that occurred in Texas happened at the Charles Goodnight Range. One day, New Mexican sheep herders drove their flock onto the range of Charles Goodnight. Goodnight's ranch hands in retaliation drove over 400 sheep into the Canadian River, where they drowned. Despite this, the sheep herders in Charles Goodnight were able to come to an agreement and divided the lands along the Canadian River Valley. The sheep war soon spread to Arizona. Unlike Texas, the war in Arizona was a bloody one with the lives lost of both sheep and men. The most notable would become known as the Pleasant Valley War. This conflict was fought between the families of John D. Tewksbury and Tom Graham. Though both the Tewksbury and Graham families were cattle ranchers, the Tewksburys began to expand into sheep herding and even supported the sheep herders when they began entering Pleasant Valley in 1885. The first bloodshed of the conflict was in 1885 when John D. Tewksbury leased a herd of sheep from the Daggs brothers and had it driven into Pleasant Valley by a Basque sheep herder. Somewhere along the trail, the sheep herder was ambushed and killed by Andy Cooper, a member of the Graham faction and associate of the Hash Knife Cowboys. The second human casualty occurred when a Ute shepherd was beheaded while he was driving some of the Dag sheep through the area. Though no one was ever charged, Tom Graham is believed to have been responsible. This war between two families soon escalated into a serious gunfight at the Middleton Ranch on August 9, 1887. Members of the Graham faction and some hash knife cowboys were out searching for Mark Blevins, a man who went missing, and they assumed the Tewksbury's were the cause of his disappearance. There were six men occupying the Middleton Ranch, three of whom were Tewksbury's. Soon after the Graham party arrived, the shootout began. It is unknown who shot first, but what is known is that two men were dead and three more wounded, all from the Graham party, while the Tewksbury side suffered no casualties. After this clear defeat for the Graham faction, the war turned into a long series of revenge killings and had very little to do with sheep. By the time the Pleasant Valley War ended in 1892, about 25 people had been killed, including all of the men in the Graham family and most of the Tewksbury families. The Pleasant Valley War was not the only battle fought in Arizona during the Sheep War. Some other notable events occurred in 1884 near the San Francisco Mountains. Angry cattlemen rounded up over 100 wild horses, strapped cowbells to their necks, rawhide to their tails, and then drove them into a series of sheep herds numbering more than 25,000, yelling and firing guns in the process. The sheep scattered in all directions. Many were killed or wounded, and it took a week to gather up and separate the surviving stock. That same year, cowboys drove over 4,000 sheep into the Little Colorado River, many of which drowned or died in the quicksand. 
In Wyoming and Colorado, the Sheep War became exceptionally violent and lasted until well after the turn of the century. In Wyoming alone, there were about 24 attacks and at least six human deaths between 1879 and 1909, though other accounts say that over 16 people were killed. Near Parachute, Colorado, cowboys drove over 3,800 sheep belonging to the shepherd Carl Brown over the cliff into Parachute Creek. When Carl Brown attempted to stop the cowboys from killing the flock, he was shot in his hip and left to die. A posse from Parachute rode out to the scene where they found the wounded Brown and a mass of dead sheep at the foot of a 1,000-foot bluff. In late June 1896, two sheep herders were killed by Colorado cowboys and 300 more sheep were massacred. In the morning of November 15, 1899, 40 masked men attacked a sheep camp located on the Lower Snake River. During the attack, many sheep were clubbed to death and the rest scattered throughout the area. The shepherds were also robbed and their wagon was burned. In 1909, Joe Alamond and two of his companions were attacked, shot and killed by a group of masked men near Ten Sleep, Wyoming. Seven of these men were eventually arrested and tried for their crimes, five of whom were sent to prison. The conviction of the Ten Sleep murders eventually brought the sheep wars to an end. Cattlemen were now reluctant to raid sheep camps for they were at risk of being punished by the law, which for many years was on their side. After over 100,000 sheep and 54 men lost their lives fighting over grazing rights, this legendary war of the West finally came to a close with the help of the federal government when they enacted the Taylor Grazing Act of 1934 to help regulate the use of public lands.